trick or treat. It's not exactly Halloween, it's actually the Sunday before Halloween, but it's apparently when we're supposed to be doing trick or treat. So, we've been living at this homestead here out in the country for about 20 something years, and for the first three years we lived here, we tried to do trick or treat, but nobody would ever uh, show up. No kids, no nothing. So, Tonight we got the torch out, we got the porch light on the house, porch light on the bus, and we're gonna hang out and see if any kids show up for Halloween. So this is the first time for us doing any kind of trick-or-treat thing. We've never really been into the Halloween thing, but as you see here, we got a big old bowl of candy. Pretty nice. It's nice and toasty inside the bus, nice and warm. I'm gonna turn the old uh, TV down here, and uh, we're actually watching the monsters. So yeah, how more Halloween can it get, right? Pretty cool. So nice and cozy here in the bus, nice and warm. Uh, the thing is, is um, about an hour before the old lady got home, um, I went ahead and fired up the oven. I turned the propane on and turned the oven on. And I figure I'll let it warm up in here. She likes it nice and warm. So we come out here to do the trick-or-treat thing. And here with the thermometer, we're sitting at 92 degrees. So it's a little warm inside here. So I got the vent open right now in the back. And this vent here without the fan on. Just to kind of cool it off a little bit. But anyway, we got trick-or-treat tonight in the bus. Hoping we're going to get some uh, trick-or-treaters maybe show up and uh, get some of this candy. Yeah, I got my candy right there. Kids got their candy right there. Everything's good to go. So, we'll see what happens. Just, just a quick video just saying we're going to try trick-or-treat in the bus. So, happy Halloween everybody. Have a happy holiday. So, uh, I wanted to share with you guys a quick... Uh, story about this whole Halloween thing we're doing tonight um, so far no kids it's been a little while it's uh, about seven o'clock right now so there's about an hour left but hey hanging out in the bus no problem I like it it's enjoyable but anyway I got this quick story I wanted to share with you about Halloween I told you the first three years that when we moved here we'd have all the porch lights on we'd have candy ready and no kids they ever showed up because we're we're pretty far out in the country out here and uh well i think it was a year or two after we gave up on it um it was a warm day and it was trick-or-treat night and halloween or whatever and i had to run out to the garage for something i can't remember what but i i was in my underwear i was literally wearing nothing but my underwear and i ran out to the garage i turned the porch light on ran out the door, went into the garage, and I started looking for whatever the hell I was looking for. I don't even remember what it is now, but then there's, I see headlights coming in the driveway. I'm like, what the hell? And I'm looking around, looking through the, back then we had windows in the garage, the old door, and I'm looking through the windows, and here comes like six kids jump out of this minivan, and they're all running up to the house, and here I am in, the under, in my underwear in the garage, and uh, kind of hiding and hunkering down and uh, the old lady was already sleeping and the kids banging on the door and she didn't wake up and I'm hiding I couldn't do nothing I wasn't gonna like hey kids happy Halloween let me run in the house in my underwear and get you some candy so the only thing I'm thinking is oh please don't egg my house don't egg my cars just sorry you know but anyway I just wanted to share that story with you guys thought it was pretty funny pretty cool so, happy Halloween, everybody. Here we are, still waiting. No kids. Seriously, guys, I've been trying everything. I've been trying everything I could to get people to come and get some free candy. <laughs> happy Halloween, guys. But it's not even Halloween. It's the Sunday before Halloween. Enter. Ooh, we got a car coming. Come on, kids. Come get your free candy in the bus. Come on. 
Come on. Look. Look. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. We got free candy in the bus. Ah, well, looks like we got another car. Free candy. Come on and get some free candy. Come on. Come on, kids. Some free candy. Free candy. Come on. All right, all right. If the kids don't want candy, what about the moms? Moms love candy. So here it is, and um, Halloween's almost over. Um, well, it's not even Halloween, but it's like trick-or-treat night in town, and we're not even in town, but hey, it's been a great night. No kids to bother us. Nobody to, you know, kind of mess things up, so... Just hang out here, have a good time, and, you know, I, I got a whole damn bowl of candy in here, so I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here where it's nice and comfortable and stuff. So we're gonna do story time again. Yeah, story time. Might as well. Ain't no... I ain't got nobody else to talk to, so we're going to do story time round two for trick-or-treat night here in our local township. Um, I got this new um, app on my tablet, and it's a video editor. I don't remember the name of it, and I'm not going to give it a review or whatever, but I'm actually able to take clips of videos and then patch them together. And I can trim them down to certain sizes. I can split them. I can cut them. I can do a voice overlay. So um, that's going to be pretty cool. I'm thinking uh, we'll try that out. And maybe I can improve my videos a little bit for you. You know, I'm not like into the high tech crap or whatever. Um, I do computers. I do internet. Uh, back in the old days, I used to fix home computers and... Everyone's got laptops and phones now, so that's back then. Any hoot. Um, just, uh, we're going to, what I did is I, I got a video coming up for, um, basically my job as a diesel mechanic. Um, I've been a diesel mechanic pretty much most of my life. I went to diesel tech school right after high school, and uh, after graduating school, I've pretty much almost non-stop maybe it, I had a two-year lull where I did restaurant work but uh, I was a diesel mechanic and I pretty much specialize on a lot of medium duty stuff um, box trucks F250 350 F550 super duty trucks uh, Kodiak trucks a lot of your box vans a lot of medium duty I also do heavy duty so I do have a CDL and a state inspection license for the state I work in, so we do safety inspections. I also have uh, emissions license because I am also an automotive technician. Uh, at the shop, we do have automotive tech who does a lot of the auto repairs, but if he gets really busy, I'll step in and do auto repairs also. So pretty flexible with my job, and that's what's helped me, you know, cruise along all these years and keep on rolling, you know. So, I compiled some video footage for the next video you're going to see. Um, about two days worth of uh, video footage of work to do like a, a typical day at my job. See kind of, the, you know, some of the stuff I run into, some of the stuff I do. I think it's going to be interesting. I hope you guys want to stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And keep on watching. Still no damn kids. So, you really think kids are going to be, like, in their parents' car? Let's assume Halloween going on in town, right? And they're heading home. And they happen to come up my road, right? And they see the torch out front. And they see the bus all lit up. And the uh, porch lights on. And you really think some kid's going to be like, Oh, can we stop and get some candy from the creepy bus? <laughs> no. Not happening. No, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. 
Happy trick-or-treat night. It's not really Halloween. It's trick-or-treat night. And, uh... Hey, y'all. Johnny Mullet here. <laughs> it's pretty dark out here, man. Um, it's like late. Really, really late. I got a whole thing of candy. And nobody wants free candy from a bus. 